Okay, I have some news for people out there that have the TA082 motherboards. Uh, yes, there is a, um, a downgrader now. If you go to this site here, you'll find it um, a file there to download, and you'll be able to download your PSPs. But be very careful. Uh, follow the instructions very carefully. You don't want to prick your PSP. Um, I haven't got one, so I can't show you, and I'm not gonna, not prepared to go out and buy another PSP just to get that top of motherboard just to p show people. Follow the instructions. Um, that's all I can say, really. And hopefully you get it right. So good luck, people. Alright, this is the tutorial to upgrade your 1.5 to a 3.02 OE edition. Um, thanks to to Dark Alex again. Um, now, this version here also is able to play PS1 games. Um, it's, I gather it doesn't actually emulate it. I haven't researched it properly um, because being the rights to Sony of the proper firmware for it, they would have the uh, original firmware inside the 3.02 so it'll run smoothly instead of having to run all this power to run an emulator so I've run games on it and it runs quite smooth so um, good luck people well, um, here's the tutorial okay this is 1.5 now go to this side here Okay, and download and extract the uh, 3.02 OEA file. Um, and inside there you have an OE update, oh, what's the lay? OE up D maker, um, two folders. And uh, also download the 1.5 eBoot and the 3.02 eBoot. Rename the 1.5 to uh, 1.5.0 and the 3.02, rename it to a 3.02 uh, put those two into the OE up D maker folder uh, the one without the percentage put it in there copy those two folders into um, the PSP game directory on your PSP and um, once you've done that Go along and uh, use the 3.02 um, update maker on your PSP, which I've already done on here. As you see, the 3.02 A update maker. So I run that. And that will create a PSAR file in that same folder where, the, uh, where you put the... Um, uh, the firmware so once it's done that go back into that folder and and move out of there uh, as in cut the um, PSAR file um, and I'll tell you where to put it once it's finished this part takes a while so um, I'll just fast forward Okay, there is one part I forgot to tell you was um, there's uh, file folders in there actually called also um, 302 OE Flasher. Uh, there's two folders in there called that. Copy those two as well to the PSP game folder um, because that's where you'll put the DAXR um, file in to do the update. Okay, and that's done. And now I'll just auto reboot. And now I'll show you um, what to do with that file. Okay, now go into your PSP. Uh, 
Where are we? Here we go. Into your PSP. And go into your PSP folder, game, and where you put that file in here. And now you have got um, this file here, data DX, uh, DXAR. Cut that out of there. Ah, damn computer. Okay. And um, move it into this folder here. That comes with that uh, download before you on the um, 3.0e download. Paste it into there. So now you should be able to go into your PSP. Now on your PSP, go down to, um, to the 3.02 OEA firmware install. And if you don't want to continue, just uh, press the right trigger button. Um, otherwise, continue. Press X to continue. Do follow these instructions carefully, though. One mistake can brick your PSP, like I had said I did before. I actually pr bricked it, but had a recovery. So now it's installing the... Um, 1.5 and then it'll be installing the 3.02 mixed firmware and yes for those people out there that are curious on the camera yes it is an Xbox 360 camera I've been asked this question before, and yes, it is. <laughs> it's the only camera I have, well, webcam I've got. I mean, uh, I had to borrow a, a decent camera before, and I thought, ah, waste of time. I've got this one here sitting here that does the job. That, I, that site I took you to, you can also follow their instructions if, you, if I'm not quite clear or if you're stuck on something. Um, they are the instructions that I actually followed. So they're exactly what I'm saying here. Okay, it's all done. So you restart the PSP manually. So you hold the power button up until it turns off. And then turn it back on. Okay, let's go now into system settings. And we have now 3.02A. Oh, sorry, OEA. Now, um, there's also on that site a update to version B. Um, I've also got it in here. Follow the instructions. I've got the thing here and just update it. And that um, gives you... Uh, version B. And now we have the version B. So good luck people. Be very careful, don't break your PSPs, and uh, the next tutorial will be showing you how to run the uh, PSP, uh, PS, X, PS1 on your PSP. Good luck.